Today I want to show you how to upgrade your bullet list from simple text on a screen to beautiful full screen images that when you're showing locations can transport your audience there, capturing their attention and communicating much more effectively and memorably than just text on a screen. Let's look at how to use individual full screen images to upgrade your bullet points in Keynote on Mac. The first thing you need to do is to get those beautiful images. And so I highly recommend using Unsplash. Great website here. You can go through and get all kinds of great images. There's a free version, a paid version. If you go in here, let's say you are searching for bucket list locations. You can also go up here and use these options to drop down and choose just the free images and just landscape if you're doing that kind of a presentation. And now everything you go to download will fit that description. I also recommend using Pixabay, a great website. Again, search for photos. You can drag them in there into your presentations. Just really, really good images that will help your presentation stand out and be what you're looking for to replace and upgrade your bullet points. Once you download those images, I suggest putting them all in a folder. That way they're easy to get to and ready to build your presentation. Today we'll be using these six images to replace those bullet points. And I put them all in a folder together to keep them all organized. Okay, back into Keynote, and here we are with that slide that we started with. Just a simple bullet list, very common in way too many presentations. And here's how we're gonna change it. This is one of the easiest ways to upgrade. We're simply gonna add a slide and choose photo. And then where this little icon is in the corner is how we change it. Before we do that, let's go over here. Let's right click on the slide and click duplicate. We know we need six of these total because our bullet list has six items in it. So now if we tap on this, hold the command key down and tap on the other slide, we can then right click, duplicate again. Now we have four, right click, duplicate again. There's all six of our slides. Our first one on here is to explore the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu, Peru. So we'll go in here, click on this little photo icon in the bottom right. Then we'll go in here and choose our photo, click insert, Boom, full screen, ready to go. Next one is witness the Northern Lights in Iceland. We got a photo of that, click on it. Double click on that photo, fills it full screen, ready to go. Third one was Safari Adventure in Tanzania. Tap on the icon, double click on the photo, fills it full screen. Our fourth one was cruise the fjords of Norway. So again, we'll go to that icon, find our photo, Double click on it, it fills the screen for us. Our fifth one is to explore the streets of Marrakesh, Morocco. Go in here, get the street market photo, fills the screen. And our last one is to attend the Carnival in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And so we'll tap on that icon, bring up this crowd photo. And now that is a great replacement to those six items on our bucket list of bullet points. We want a little bit of a dramatic transition between them. So we'll click on the first slide, Hold down the shift key and click on the last slide and go over here to our animation menu, add an effect. We'll simply do dissolve and we'll leave it at one and a half seconds. If you're doing a presentation and you need to move quickly, you could set it for 0.7, but usually we're walking and talking through these. You could also add a slide um, with just text and type in bucket list travel. Again, give that one that dissolve 1.5 at the end here to finish up. Add a blank slide. And now when we go to play, we have our bucket list travel. We want to talk about each of the locations we're going to be in. And as we talk, it'll be full screen, one photo, taking them to the place that we're talking about. It's much more memorable, which means they'll remember it, they'll understand it. In some ways, they'll be taking to what we're talking about better than just text alone. And because it's more memorable and more understandable, they're more likely to remember your talk and do the action step you have in your last slide. That is how you upgrade bullet points to full screen images. I have several other videos that I am creating or by this time have already made and published showing you other ways to upgrade your bullet points to make your presentations more effective, more memorable, and more actionable, whether you are doing this for school, for work, or for fun. Connect with me on social. And if you like this content, subscribe so you know more comes out. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.